Hey, I'm Mark. And I'm JT. And we're Hawthorne Heights. And on this tour in the UK, we're using the MK2 Stage 60 combo amps from Blackstar. They sound incredible. Mm -hmm. Anytime we get to come over to Europe and the UK, we love it. Uh, so we have no complaints. We've been traveling around. All the bands have been great. Mm -hmm. The venues are cool. It's cool to see a lot of the kids singing the new songs. We kind of were in a situation with just not bringing a lot over here and coming over here for this. Um, and traveling in, in an RV on this tour that we, we wanted to go light. So we looked into doing the combos and I expected it to sound great, but not as much low end. as typically as like having a half stack, but I was really surprised at how much kind of like bottom end Liam's had. I don't really notice that big of a difference from playing the yeah. Stacks of Warp Tour to playing these in, in these size clubs, you know, the, the response and the voicing and everything yeah. like that, just, it's just good. They're extremely loud for a, yeah, they're, very, combo. Yeah, they're very loud. Cool. Uh, the first thing I did, I love the Mark 1s. It was my favorite amp that we had been using live. Um, and so I was a little scared when they, anytime somebody takes something you love and they say they're going to redo it. But the first thing I noticed that I loved about it was the, the extra options in the clean channel to kind of do the grittier clean or the chimier clean. But they clean up really nice oh. in the, uh, the gain stage on the distorted setting. Sounds really close to the, the first one, which I love. So everything gets louder and gets better. So I'm, I have no complaints. You know, so our, our album, Bad Frequencies, that's the whole reason that we came back over to the UK and Europe is to try and play a couple songs off that. Response has been great. We recorded with these new amps. That was the main distortion track on all the songs on Bad Frequencies. So it's been a lot of fun to, to kind of hear them sound pretty close to how we recorded them because you know we kind of kept all the settings the same uh, played similar guitars as well so it's it's been cool to hear them cranked up and uh, playing them in the live setting as well